Ah, what a magnificent night to be studying. The moon is out, the stars are shining, and it's all peaceful and quiet. Huh? Who's there? Uh, whoever you are, you cannot be out in the hallways at this time. You must go back to your room this instant. Please, Taka. I need somebody to tend to my wounds. Wait a minute. I recognize that voice. The door is unlocked. Come on in. <laughs> Thanks, Taka. What in the... Yamada-kun, what are you doing here? You know you're not supposed to be out past curfew. I didn't want to be out this way, I swear. I, I had to do something for Lady Celestia, and I got hurt, so I went to the nurse's office to see Miss Sumiki, but she wasn't there, and the only person I knew other than Mikan who could tend to wounds like these was you, so I came here instead. I'm sorry, Taka. <laughs> Plausible explanation. Go ahead and sit down. I will tend to your wounds in a few minutes. Uh, thanks. There. Good as new. You're welcome. Thanks a lot for the help, Taka. I'm gonna head back to my room now. See you in the morning. Yamada-kun, wait! <sighs> I feel like you're not telling me the full story. What actually happened? How did you get hurt? Um, about that... I don't think Lady Celestia would be okay with me telling you. She'd probably be really upset. Well, Hifumi, Celeste isn't here. You can tell me. I promise I won't say a word to her. Only if you cross your heart and hope to fly, stick a cupcake in your eye. What? Sorry, a My Little Pony reference. Uh, okay. I do all that, I guess. Eh, close enough. All right. So, it all started when I was getting Lady Celestia some tea. I told her that it was too late to get her tea and we had to be back in our rooms because curfew was coming. But she didn't care. She wanted her tea or she was going to be angry. So, did you get her tea? Yes, yes, of course I did. But here's where everything turns dark. I forgot to put milk in the tea. How do you forget to put milk in milk tea? That's exactly what Lady Celestia said, but angrier. In fact, she was so angry that she threw the cup on the ground, smashing it. And then she took me to the infirmary room and pulled out a big, big hammer and smacked me on the head with it. I was unconscious for a few hours, and my head was bleeding, so I went to Miss Sumiki to see if she could help me, but she wasn't in the nurse's office, so I had to come here, and now you're kind of caught up. So, what'd you think of the story? He threw me. Th that's, that's, that's just terrible. Don't you understand what Celeste did to you is wrong? I do, but you shouldn't worry about it. I'm used to it by now. You shouldn't be used to it. The way Celeste treats you is wrong and completely unjust. You need to learn how to stand up to yourself, you fool me. But I can't do that. I don't know how. Here's a tip, you fool me. The next time Celestia tries to make you get her some more tea, first, you say, no. Nah. Secondly, you get out of there. And thirdly, you come to me, and I'll get Mondo to deal with her, Celeste. But I can't do that tonight. Mondo's on vacation with Dea, so he's not here. Sorry. Well, Taka, that seems pretty difficult to do. I don't know if I can do it. Well, you're gonna have to do it. You need to learn how to not be a pushover, Hifumi Yamada, and I'm gonna help you with that. But I'm scared. Do you know what Lady Celestia will do to me if I try to stand up to her? She'll give me another bump on the head! 
bum for not, you still gotta serve your ground. That's what I have to learn over the years. Fine, but do you think you can help me? Like, just this once? Please? Hmm, well, you can't learn if you don't have any demonstration. Hmm, fine. I'll help you this once, but the next time Celeste does something like this to you, you're on your own. Got it? Cross my heart and help to fly, stick a cupcake in my eye, Taka. Well, okay then, I'll take that as a yes, I guess. Well, you need to head back to your room. Great idea. Night, Taka. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. And don't worry, we'll get this all resolved. I promise. All right. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this homer's gonna have to wait. Time to come up with a plan. I just need to find some exceptional people. Aha! Ibuki and Leon would be perfect for this. Well, better go get them. Taka, I cannot believe that you made me and Ibuki stay up all night just to practice a song to help Marshmallow Stand up for himself. Ibuki agrees. Ibuki doesn't like staying up so late. Ibuki needs sleep too, even though she doesn't seem like it. Besides, you didn't even offer us any snacks last night. How could you? My apologies, Zion Ibuki. You both just seemed like the perfect people for this plan. And I wanted to come up with a plan to help you feel me stand up for himself against the last. It could have been someone else, and we would have agreed within a heartbeat. That attitude towards Yamada will not be acceptable, Kawada. What as, man? At least I got to play my new guitar. The book is still mad about the snacks. I'm also sorry about the snacks, Ibuki. I didn't have any snacks in my room, and I couldn't go to the kitchen and get you any because of curfew. This stinks. <sighs> I guess Ibuki forgives you. On the bright side, Ibuki gets to play all her instruments. This is gonna be so fun! We're not here to have fun, Ibuki. We're here to be serious! Now come on, we must get this song started. I still can't believe I agreed to something like this. Ibuki's on her way! Where is Chubby with my milk tea? He should have been here by now. <sighs> he fooled me! Where's my milk tea? I can't wait any longer! Uh, uh, right here, uh, Lady Celestia. And I made sure it was super extra warm and I made sure not to forget the milk this time. Wow, finally you do something right. Aw, that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Lady Celestia. Get lost. There goes Marshmallow being a, well, a marshmallow again. What are we gonna do about him? With the sound of the spell, we'll start giving Celestia Ludenberg the karma she deserves. Ooh, such a shiny bell! Ibuki loves shiny and loves spells! Can I bring a taka? Please, 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 please! Well, I guess I don't see why not. Go ahead, Ibuki. Yay! You're the best taka! Everyone, may I have your... Uh, uh, Ibuki. Ibuki! Ibuki! Aww, there goes the shiny bell. Good morning, students of Hope Speak Academy. I hope you are having a wondrous weekend. And I hope you are having a wondrous breakfast. This is always how we've eaten breakfast, Taka. Well, it won't be for long. This breakfast is going to be different. Because... I have a very special surprise for one of the fellow classmates of Pope's Peak Academy, Celestia Ludenberg. Aww, me? 
That's right. And trust me when I say this, it will be a present you'll never forget. Can Ibuki and Leon start playing their instruments now, Taka? Not yet, Ibuki, in a minute. This song will be dedicated to Celestia Ludenberg. Leon, Ibuki, on the count of four. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Here's an open letter to a treasure of a girl Whose behavior in this school always makes me hurt well, She's a nasty fake off schemer that calls herself so fine Without the help of Yamada, her reputation will be on the line Hey! Hey! She'll tell you that she loves your shirt, but something she can't stand She's just so full of you know She has a double flush that can the fiber. She bought two pairs of the same skirt, one size four, one size eight. When she wears the bigger one, you'll ask if she lost weight. She's not gal, you think she is? So let us just tell all of ya. There's big black hair, but twin her toes, and her real name is Celestia. She's a phony scheming weasel nose, and her real name is Celestia. She steals in lights cause she's evil folks, and her real name is Celestia. It's Taya Whoa, is that all true? Definitely more true than her name being Celestia. So, all those times she's complimented how nice my uniform is, she's never meant it? No, no she hasn't. I I'm more surprised at the fact that she takes fiber. I never thought someone as annoyingly Perfect as her would ever take fiber. No matter how annoyingly perfect people seem to be, they're always imperfect on the inside. How come we never knew that Celestia's real name was Tayako? Tayako Yasuhiro, to be exact. Wee, another Yasuhiro. Shit. Everyone, all of those things they have said about me are lies. I would never take fire. And I love all of your clothes. And my real name is indeed Celestia Lordenberg. Not an idiotic name like Tayako Yasahiro. We looked up everything on the Hope Peak Academy school board, Celeste. Or should I say, Hayako? We all know your deepest secrets. We all know what you're trying to hide from us. You try to be perfect, but in reality, you're not. In fact, you're even worse than all of us combined. Yeah, you are always bullying Abuki's friends and making them very sad, you big bully. And it's Time we put a stop to you. Lies! Those are all lies! You fool me! Tell them! Tell them how stupid they are! Excuse me? What did you just say to me? You heard me. I said. No! How dare you! You're useless to me! Useless, useless, useless! I knew I should have never hired you as my servant! Actually, Celeste, I would like to disagree on the useless part. What are you talking about? Without Hifumi's help, we would have never found out about this and sung that song. So, we really have him to thank for all of this. Help you come up with this song? Well, he didn't help us come up with the song. We came up with the song ourselves. But he told us what you did yesterday. Well, he told me. Leon and Ibuki weren't there. He told me how you banged him on the head with a hammer just because he forgot to put milk in your milk tea. She did what? Slap! Is this true? No! It, it's lies! All lies! 
bitch! He's just trying to make me look bad! You know very well I would never do that to anyone unless they deserve it. And you, Celestia Ludenberg, or should I now start calling you Tayako Yasuhiro, deserve what you got. I cannot believe this. That's so mean. I always knew you were a Wednesday Adams wannabe. Your reputation is ruined, Celestia. You have no control over any of us anymore. You feel me, Spree? We're all free from your wrath. <sighs> Whatever. I don't need you fools anyway. We should totally celebrate! You guys can go ahead and celebrate. I think I'm gonna go back to my dorm for a while. It has been a long breakfast. I will see you guys later this afternoon. It's open! Come on in! Sup, Taka? Hopefully I'm not bothering you. Not at all, Hifumi. Is everything okay? Better than okay now that I'm free from Celeste's control. That's wonderful. I hope this means we can all become the best of friends with you and really see your nice side. I really have you to thank for all of this, Taka. Y you're the one who did all the work. I appreciate the gratitude, Ifumi, but you are also a big help in this. Me? But... I hardly did anything. You kidding? You're the one who told me about what Celeste did to you last night. If you had never told me, I wouldn't have been able to set this up for you. Yeah, but I'm not the one who sang that song or said all those things about Celeste. You probably didn't sing the song, but you're the one who was brave enough to say no to Celeste. You were brave enough to break out of her control and be you. Really? Huh, so I guess I was. We both did our parts, Hifumi. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, by the way, before I forget, happy birthday, Taka! Happy birthday? Y you actually remembered my birthday? Of course I did, silly! Why do you sound so surprised? No one really remembers my birthday. In fact, the only ones who actually do remember my birthday are Mondo, Chihiro, my dad, and Cory. Normally, I'd do something with Mondo and Chihiro today, but Mondo's on vacation with Dea, and Chihiro's out helping his dad with an invention, so I can't hang out with them. Oh, what about your dad and Cory? Well, my dad's always busy with work stuff, and Cory said she's been out buying me a present, and it's gonna take her all day, so I'm assuming I won't be able to spend time with her. What about Leon and Hero? Aren't they your friends? They are, but let's face it, they're too stupid to remember anyone's birthdays. Eh, true, but what about the other students? They probably wouldn't bother to remember. It's not like I'm close to them or anything. You're not close to me, Taka, and yet yeah, I remembered your birthday. Hmm, true. Well, thank you for telling me happy birthday, Hifumi. It really means a lot. No problem, Taka, but I do have a surprise for you. A, a surprise? For me? Yep, come with me to the dining hall. Um, okay. So, why are we at the dining hall? What's this surprise you're talking about? Well, Taka, you're about to find out in a three, a two, a one! Surprise! surprise I guess. What? What is this? Ifumi told us all about how your birthday was today, so as a thank you for freeing us from Celeste, we decided to throw a surprise birthday party for you. It took a while to set up, but it's the effort that counts. Hope you like it. Wow, you guys, I, I love it. Thanks, Ifumi. Thanks, everyone. 
No problem, Taka. Now get up here and join the party. Hmm. Actually, I have one more person I want to invite. You do? Ew. You'll see. I'll be right back. Don't eat cake without me. Go away. I don't want to talk to anyone else today. That's not going to be happening. What do you want? Are you here to make my day even worse? Like you already did? Actually, I wanted to invite you to my birthday party Hikumi planned for me. Birthday party? Yeah. Wanna come? Uh, I'm coming. I, I don't understand. I, I thought you hated me. Why are you inviting me to your birthday party? You were never the nicest person to us, Celestia Ludenberg. But everyone deserves a second chance. And it wouldn't really be a fun birthday party without you. So, the invitation's still there. So, you wanna come? Fine. I don't expect me to talk to you or anyone else. This does not mean we're friends. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, who's ready to cut some cake and eat some cake? Oh, I am fun! I have something I need to tell you guys. Huh? Well, I was blowing up some balloons. I accidentally put poison gas in them. So, just a fair warning, if any of the balloons pop, we're all gonna die. Hold on. You did what? And on top of that, I accidentally put blades in the cake, so probably best not to eat the cake. Wait, you did what? Come on, I already had a slice! Does this mean I'm gonna die? No, you'll just choke on your blood, and then die. Uh, 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 uh. show? Very good to know. We'll make sure not to pop any balloons or eat any cake. I'm glad nobody's gonna get hurt. What the? Uh, fly! Fly! Uh, uh, stay back, everyone! Uh, I've got the perfect shot! You're going down, fly! Uh, yeah. uh, 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 oh, yeah, this is bad. Um, sorry! about that. I accidentally put blades in the cake. I was hoping you wouldn't <coughs> say that. <coughs> well, I'll be at his funeral. At least now I can raid the ice cream freezer without being knocked by anybody. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if they have vanilla. Ooh, or banana nut. Or mint chocolate chip. Ooh, or maybe classic chocolate. Ooh, choices, choices, choices. <laughs> 